So I've just done my cap session, Kundalini activation process. And let's just say the week prior to this, Spirit has been asking me to merge and become more of my higher self. And then I got the opportunity to do this cap session today. And I just knew that I had to be there. That's all I knew. So I turned up just open to whatever was going to take place and however it was going to unfold for me. Didn't really have any expectations. And, you know, I'm a bit familiar with CAP because Ines, my friend, uh, has trained in it and I was going to do it with her, but it didn't turn out that that was the way. Um, so I went to this one in, in Guildford, in my hometown. And it was amazing. And I need to document some of it before the experience filters out of my system. We had to lie on our yoga mats and just get comfortable. And we were kind of prepped as to what might happen, like energetic movement in the body, like convulsions or uh, uh, instinct to move or to, to dance or whatever, and just to surrender to it. Um, so the music began and instinctively, it was all very kind of Native American sounding. It, was quite drummy and 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 a cry like Native American singing it was just beautiful and it instinctively just pulled something out of me like this is my ancestral cry my heart is at home and literally as soon as the music began I didn't expect this to happen but my body started shaking uh, my hands were wiggling I, I was finding myself moving in a way that was completely it was impulsive. Um, it just takes over. This movement just started taking over. And you find yourself kind of like your back coming up off the mat. Um, and just moving like a, a dance. Or, and um, yeah, it was, it was instinctive and, uh, and immediate. As soon as this music started, it was like rumbling through my core. And at the same time that you're having these motions in your body. Or these contractions. Or this, this w wanting to move. You... you you've been told just to surrender to whatever your body's asking but it was like my soul was connected suddenly to this energy that felt like home and it was very native american i could see the chief i could see the tribes and they were calling and there was this drumming and they were like it's time to rise it's time to step up into your gifts uh, it's time to know how powerful you are. It's time to start using your gifts. I could feel like electricity coming out of my hands. There were moments when I was one with what I can only describe as the universe. Um, I, like I was a shooting star flying through the universe with this power surge running through my body. Like I was literally an electric wire <laughs> and then this this channel for this electric electricity to just be channeling through my entire nervous system and and your body is is reacting to it and at the same time it's like you've been fired up on all cylinders and you're having these these um messages coming in and these downloads like as if you're watching a 3d movie in front of you is insane like i get this but it was like more powerful than usual and there was a moment where my shoulder blades were kind of moving as if my my wings it felt like I was growing my wings and I was letting my wings grow and and then I started to move my arms as if I was a bird flying but I'm lying on the ground but my arms were making the motion of these wings and at the same moment it was also aligned the the vocals on the music track started to talk about becoming a butterfly and how you have to trust the process of your metamorphosis and when you you're going through these times of change you can feel like you're you're dying or you're you're disappearing and that's the metamorphosis but to have trust and vulnerability that your wings are not only growing but you'll know how to fly when you come out the other end and this this man was speaking and these women were singing and that the track was just beautiful speaking about trusting the metamorphosis trusting the change and the transitions that you're going to go through trusting that you're going to have your wings trusting that when you come out of your chrysalis, the world is going to be this most beautiful place. It's, you, you can go into new realms, you can go into new places, you can go into new mindsets that 
as a but as a caterpillar you would have been crawling around on the floor but here you are and now you're able to access the skies and you're able to access the beauty and the birds and you're allowed to fly and you've got to trust that because you've never flown before but it's instinctive you know you're you're able and then the music would change and uh, and there was this moment of feeling this power coming from my belly like we are so innately powerful yet we have no idea what we can do and it was like I was being asked to look at why I don't why I fear being powerful why I fear accessing this gift and as I realized that there is this almost energetic block to my own power I started to cry and then tears were coming and I was releasing and it was like I was a bit there was a an umbilical cord in my belly and I wanted to pull out all the things that have um, held me back it was like people's words spoken over me or who does she think she is or and there was all these things that had actually in my past now hindering me for stepping up and becoming, becoming uh y- your higher self like what what are the things that are standing in your way, stopping you stepping into the next chapter, the next butterfly version of you? Yes, you might. It might feel a big transition from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly. That's a huge transformation. However, you're meant to be a butterfly, and it was this whole message that was just being weaved through the experience of now it's time to 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 show off your wings. Let let those arms flap. Let yourself fly. Tap into your gifts, tap into your power. And um, there was other moments, I'm trying to remember all the pieces, there was other moments where there was almost like this native, native cry or this native song saying women sisters brothers we we need to rise we need to come up we need to stand in our power because a great move is happening a great awakening is happening and as i pictured this awakening i was transformed into uh, another place where i saw thousands and thousands and thousands of people that had turned white and we had wings we looked like angels and we were literally one by one just lifting up off the earth and and heading back towards the light and heading back to this amazing beautiful sunlight it was like we were returning to the light and we were just becoming one with the light and I could feel myself lifting in the spirit like I'm lifting I can I'm becoming weightless and I feel was feeling so drawn to this light that I needed to return home not a need it's just instinct to return to the essence of where I'd come from and it was like that's what it must feel like when we pass on we were just rising like we became weightless there was nothing to weigh us down there was nothing grounding or heavy in our in our bodies we just were being drawn back to the light and I felt myself as I say lifting up off and I turned and I said no I want to watch I want to watch this experience and I consciously landed back down on the earth like really graciously and I looked to my left and my right and I held hands with all the people that I've ever made a connection with in this life and so we all held hands and there was this just indescribable feeling (laughs) of pure love pure unadulterated love there was nothing but love so much love and we just held hands and we just looking at each other returning to source returning to where we'd come from and it was just beautiful absolutely beautiful just being one with with source with love and nothing but love for one another nothing but awe I was in awe of this experience and how it felt like totally in awe and then I was sort of rising up towards the sun and it took on a different form and I was like well that's that's what it feels like to return to source and it was like I was being called home that's the only way I can describe it I was being called home and again I started to lift up off and all all the people around me that I knew we were all lifting up off and I said no I want to stay I want to stay and help the others that don't know that this is this is who we are i want to 
I want to stay. And I returned to the earth. And as I was returning, all of the all of the sunshine energy, all of this beautiful, gorgeous yellow light, it became like nectar and sand. I can't describe it. It, it changed its dynamic. Every time I looked at it, it looked different. One minute it looked like honey. And the next minute it was like shimmering sand. But whatever it or like pollen. And whatever it was, it was falling into my hands and spirit was saying, hold on to it. This is healing balm. This is, this is a taste of heaven in your hands. And I want you to know that you can go and heal people with this. This, this manna, this gold dust, this heavenly substance. I don't know what it was, but it was all over my hands and it was filling my hands. My hands were cupped and it was pouring in and they were saying... Go and heal the brokenhearted. Go and bind up their wounds. Go and remind people who they are. Go and bring them back to life. And in having this experience run through me from the beginning of the class to this present moment, I felt like I'd been brought back to life. And it's, it's a constant thing. It's like a constant evolving, unfolding. But this was like, I know where I've come from and I, I know my source I know my essence but now I need to remind other people or I want to I didn't have to I wanted to I wanted to come back and and give people that feeling like it was amazing and then it was just like I went off in a different area and I was looking through the eye of a panther and I was staring into her eyes and I was looking into her soul and then she changed into a snake and I was staring into the snake eye and all these eyes were lining up. I was literally traveling through all the animals, through their eyes, through the windows of their soul. And I knew how it felt to be a panther and I knew how it felt to be a snake and I knew how it felt to be an eagle and I knew how it felt to feel and to be one of everything. Everything seemed to be clicking into line and making sense and I was traveling through souls is how I pictured it and there was this sense of that me me being able to embody their their power I guess they're like power animals I don't know but it was like in the ability of knowing that we can <laughs> We can we can move through energies. We can we can do so many amazing things, um, but it was like I was I was able to access their power and their sight and their foresight and their wisdom and their primal instincts for whatever it is that I'm called to do, um, and it was very powerful. And it there was this fierceness about it, like all of the animals, none of them were tame. <laughs> They were wild. They were wild beings with this essence of fire and fierceness within them. And then I don't understand the next bit, but I'm going to document it for myself, if nothing more. But anyone understands the meaning of this. I don't know if it was signifying the Kundalini activation within me, but the snake came and bit me with his fangs. And he said, you've got the snake bite now. <laughs> but that felt like a good thing. I wasn't like, oh shit, I've been bitten by a snake. I was like, oh, that's a good thing. I've got the snake bite. And I had these two fang marks on my arm. And the venom was almost going through my body. I almost felt like I was on drugs and there's nothing in my system. But everything was like, like I felt like I was on hallucinogenics or something. Everything was just kind of like transforming and morphing. And But as he bit me with the, this venom, I I embodied the venom. And I, it was in my system and I knew that he'd given me a gift um, that was, I think that was something that I won't quite understand yet. But he wanted me to know that he'd given me a bite. He'd bitten me. <laughs> I guess it's about the Kundalini activation, right? You've been, you've been activated. So yeah. If you ever want to go to a CAP class, do it. Just, if, if you feel called, then go. Go and activate and unlock and let, let your real self come forward. Like, I literally feel like I'm shedding that snake skin. Uh, and that metamorphosis, the shedding the snake skin, it, something's happened. 
So let me know in the comments anything that comes up for you, anything that provoked, anything that scratched an itch, or if it was just a nice cute story, What, whatever comes up, get in touch because I'd be interested to know, have you done CAP? Have you ever had experiences like that? Um, I'm naturally very into seeing visions and things, but this was very condensed, all in one very short space of time, all these different things were going on. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think.